right, so we are back on the road, heading down to southeastern Oklahoma uh, to finish up the K Trail, which last time we were down here, that's what we said we were doing also. But this time, we actually have two days to do it. Uh, we brought the supplies to do it, we which brought the time. The gear. Mostly time, yeah, that's mostly what we brought. So we're heading down, this is Friday morning, and we're gonna have all the, uh, the remainder of this morning and afternoon to do hopefully about half of it, and then tomorrow we'll finish up the other half. So this is a trail that's somewhat familiar to us, but we're gonna be starting on the opposite end from where we've been before. So anyway, it's gonna be pretty fun. This trip is also special for Isaac and I because Isaac is getting married in a couple of months, a few short months, so uh, this will be our last uh, kind of bros camping trip which adds another little special aspect to it, but it should be a really fun time. We're really looking forward to it, and we're excited to bring you guys along and share the experience with you. Let's go. So, it probably won't surprise you to learn that we are getting hungry. And we were thinking to get some breakfast in Ada. Turns out, we just drove past Ada without realizing that's what we were doing. So we are heading back to Ada to reserve our place at the local Taco Bell Expressway. So uh, <laughs> that's what's going on. Pretty good. the state is kind of known for its fall foliage and through no fault of our own or you could say just unintentionally I think we may have hit almost the peak uh, color such as it is it's not like most vibrant but uh, it's kind of pretty so it's making for a beautiful drive and also some pretty nice filming This is at the beginning, obviously not graded, obviously not maintained. So far, it's looking promising to be a good trail. I'm excited. Supposedly, no rain expected today, but we had some rain yesterday, so got a little bit of mud action. Should be kind of interesting. We'll see as we go along how much mud there is. Stop here for lunch. 
This trail so far is exactly what I was hoping for. I like trails that are not super technical, but at least something that's kind of interesting. So we got some decent rocks and nothing we have to spot for so far, but the weather's great, the colors are great. It's gonna be a good day. The trail has smoothed out considerably here, and we're making some good time. It's pretty rough coming up the slopes there. Some serious washouts and stuff like that. Got the trucks to full flex out, which is the first for us going off-road. And we spin the wheel. Say that again? We spin the wheel. <laughs> That's not happened before. Spun a wheel. And we spun a wheel. <laughs> so yeah, nicer road here, and we'll see if we get into any more rougher stuff around the corner, but. Right now we're making some good time. Five minutes from now, <laughs> officially completed that second half. The last little bit of it was pretty um, easy going. Uh, now we are looking for a campsite, and there is a campsite. What do you say about that campsite right there? Okay, so we just found a really nice, really nice campsite. Um, I mean, it's fall, it's November, it's the best time of the year around here at least, and just being outside, no matter what you're doing, is really pleasant. So just setting up camp kind of early and, you know, having a nice leisurely evening could be pretty nice. But it is only 3.30, you got about another two hours before you really need to start setting up camp. So we're gonna kind of venture on a little bit here, see, we might test out a little offshoot, just kind of explore a little bit, and then if we want to, we might come back to that spot or, yeah, see, we'll see how it goes. So what's happening? <sighs> That's pretty narrow. We're just looking at the, we're looking at this trail, this little offshoot, trying to decide if it's worth driving down tomorrow or not. Could be kind of cool. Also trying to decide if we can even fit. Just looking at that right there, trying to picture my truck there. Kind of feels like it'd be a little narrow. So That's the trouble with full-size rigs and offshoots. Need a Jeep. So the decision was a little too narrow of an offshoot. Um, so we're probably gonna skip it. Still have a few hours of trail left to get out to the end of the K Trail. So that'll be tomorrow. Right now though, we're gonna turn around, head back to that camp we saw, which looks really nice. A nice flat area, um, beautiful foliage and everything. It's gonna be really nice, really nice camp for the evening. So we're gonna head back there, claim that spot and enjoy a nice relaxed evening at camp. Yeah, that was a, that was a good trail. It uh, was about what we expected, I think. Could have been a little bit more technical. I would have rather there be less brush and a little bit more technical. Could have been kind of cool, but. Oh well, we uh, conquered it, and we have a little bit left to do tomorrow, which is, there's there's some technical spots left, which is cool. So, 
we'll get through that portion and then uh, maybe maybe look at an offshoot or maybe look at a trail we hit up a while back see if it's worth driving on so right now we're gonna get some dinner in us while the sun's still up maybe start a fire and overall have us a general good time really nice camp spot here I think we should have a little bit of sun in the morning maybe It'd be kind of late before the sun hits us, but it's nice to have the sun in the evening, which is something you gotta find that balance when you're camping in the mountains, because it's, you know, gonna be on the shady side of the hill or the sunny side. We're kind of right in between two ridges, I think, so we have sun here in the evening. Anyway, which is kind of nice, because it's pretty chilly. It's like under 50, I think, and breezy. Hopefully the breeze will die down come uh, nightfall, and also tomorrow, uh, the forecast is a little bit more calm. So calm and sunny. It should be a nice camp here. I think we'll have a little fire, get our uh, our chili for dinner, and enjoy a beautiful fall evening. on the menu. We are having chili for supper uh, with bread and Fritos and we have some soup if that's not enough food for us. It should be. Alright, we're on a quest for some firewood. Let's see what we can find. That big fallen tree here. I think that's a little too, a little too much. We're gonna be here for a couple of weeks if we try to burn all that. There we go. Something along these lines. Sun's going down, getting the fire going. This uh, this cordless chainsaw, I gotta say, is like a super handy camp tool. Cause, I mean, it's not, it's like, it doesn't make a ton of noise. It's not super disruptive in the forest. Like, you don't wanna make making a ton of, you know, two cycle engine racket in the forest, but anyway, definitely a good tool to have on hand for cutting up firewood. Got a nice little fire going now, and uh, yeah, gonna get our dinner here in a minute. And just settle in for a nice, nice evening on the trail. Ooh, chilly morning. Might be about the coldest weather we've had this year. And yeah, it was a decent night's sleep. I mean, I'm not gonna lie about it. I uh, didn't sleep that great. Um, but anyway, did get some rest. And today, we're gonna get some breakfast, some good oatmeal. It's always a good, quick camp breakfast. And then we're gonna head on the road and finish up this trail.
into a stretch of trail that is familiar to us, the part we have done before, and uh, most of it was downhill, on uh, down slope when we came the other way, so it'll be uphill this time going through those obstacles, and it should be a pretty neat, pretty legit stretch of trail. Looking forward to it. So what's up? Well, got some word from the locals. They actually are locals, they live here. Um, there's a big tree up here that we may not be able to get around. So, see if we can get the chainsaw put to use. Maybe a little bit of um, ingenuity with a toe strap. See what we find out. They say there's a place to turn around. So, remains to be seen. Not too bad. I mean, the only limb hanging down is that one right there, really. Yeah, we don't have to, we don't have to cut any tree. We just have to yeah trim the branches. We are at the uh, Three Sticks Monument, and we have completed, officially completed, the cage rail. Pretty, uh, pretty stoked about that. After four, four times driving on it, we finally got it done. So, beautiful day here, beautiful colors. Just, I mean, it's the best time of the year, and just a beautiful day to be out here exploring some trails. That was a really cool trail. It had some uh, fun technical spots. Other portions a little bit faster, but the scenery was beautiful trip did great um, camp was great yeah it's, it was it's great I like it with the K trail complete Isaac and I headed down across the valley to revisit a trail we did a couple of years ago Isaac has made significant upgrades to the truck since that time. So what had been a nearly insurmountable challenge, we now conquer in short order.
just finished the trail. Well, we did it in our stock F-150, but it was a challenge, and we've looked for it once or twice before, but never quite had enough time. So we found it, and we rode it, ran it, and it was great because it's just so, so satisfying to come back to something that you did before, and it was a struggle. And when you've changed either, you know, mindset or experience level or mods on the truck in this case and experience level and it was just a breeze did it in 30 minutes but that was super super satisfying it's also kind of nostalgic we drove past one of our old campsites i don't know the colors are absolutely gorgeous this is this is fantastic with all of our exploring complete we aired up and got back on the pavement headed for home isaac and i thoroughly enjoyed this overlanding adventure the K Trail proved to be a good challenge for us, presenting some of the most significant obstacles we've encountered thus far. But with the upgrades of the F-150, we were able to overcome them with ease. And we are thrilled to have finally check this trail off our list, an accomplishment that comes fittingly on our last adventure, just the two of us.